And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some keg control. Got another donation deck. We have three donation decks to be playing today. So uh, donation decks are viewer submitted lists. Uh, this one is going to be using powder kegs um, and their ability to add extra damage. That's not a powder keg. That's a powder keg. Um, you know, have add our removal spells. You're going to be doing an extra point of damage with our powder kegs. Um, and a control deck with that, with Gangplank and Thresh. Um, let's see, because we have we have things like Make It Rain, which is awesome if it's doing two damage three times, or Withering Whale. And this is probably the biggest payoff to playing all the Powder Kegs is Withering Whale. If we have one Powder Keg in play, it does two to all en enemies. If you have like three Powder Kegs in play, it does four damage to all enemies. It can get pretty ridiculous. So that um, we have that going on. We want to we want to try to level up Gangplank. As soon as possible also so the gangplank's just making a powder keg each round start and also has that awesome attack token so in order to do that we're playing a card like monkey idol which normally wouldn't seem like it would fit in this deck too well but we want this we want uh, we want this to be able to create powder monkeys that can deal damage to the enemy nexus to level up our gangplank and also just be a blocker right like we can just chump block it with these powder monkeys and not really worry about them um yeah, that's that's what we got. You know, we got a couple gangplanks to bring back our thresh, or sorry, a couple rekindlers to bring back our thresh or our gangplank, as well, and one uh, one big uh, riptide rex at the top end whenever you need a shark. All right, uh, spray fins getting removal spells for the most part, or could get a glimpse beyond. Um, but that's what our spray fins doing. So let's give us a try. Keg control. We'll go play. Five games over in ranked. See how it does. That's a good point. Oh yeah, the the powder monkeys and then the monkey idol. Those all die and trigger thresh whenever they die as well. All right, I like hired gun, uh, monkey idol, spray fin. I guess we'll just keep that. We'll just keep that curve. Double monkey idol. Not bad. It's not. You know, Hired Gun's not the best on turn two. Where are you? But... Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, that's a good point. Yep, playing the Monkey Idol on our turn allows us to have two Powder Monkeys on their turn to level up um, Gangplank. All right, we'll just have Powder Monkey be able to challenge uh, this hapless aristocrat. Hope Monkey Idols are good, because we got a bunch of them. <laughs> it's our game plan. We can play them on any turn. Every turn. And we got a little Fizz hanging out as well. <laughs> yeah, three three monkey idols may not be ideal. All right, first gangplank trigger. Probably playing spray fin this turn. Don't really have room for another monkey auto right now.
Okay. Could use some... Could use some champions. Champions are good. Could certainly use some champions. No. That's not what I meant by we could use some champions. That is not what I meant. Very poor job of drawing set champions. Got some fighting, yeah. Rend the skies. Yes, I could use Vengeance plus Hired Gun. I think that just kind of helps their Rekindler. Just didn't need to use Vengeance yet. So Gangplank's leveled up, if we ever draw a champion. We burn, then anew. And that's what I mean about their... Um, their Rekindler. My best play is make a powder keg and then make a rain. But it's not reliable. All I need is any kind of removal. So I'm going to untap where I have access to more. Man, it must be nice to draw a champion. Must be nice. Is it Brahman Ivia is our worst matchup? Okay. Well, <laughs> that makes sense. Then we get paired against it right away. <laughs> that's how. That's how it usually works. I bring the storm. Let's run while you can. Sounds about right. Oh yeah, I could have blocked or something that was gonna die. I, I don't know, I just missed that. I was just thinking ahead of other things to do. That Withering Whale probably ends this game, that extra three life. No. So we finally got a champion. Yeah, this is over. Yeah, 
yeah, finally a champion. A little too late. Like, our deck wants to play against aggro, right? Like, we have all of these small removal spells, and that's really what our, you know, we're an anti-aggro control deck. And so playing against a deck that is just spawning out Anivia's turn after turn after turn, you're not going to win. And unfortunately, the last time that I played a deck very, very similar to this, um, you know, about 10 days ago or so, I just played against Brahmanivia like four out of five games, right? And I just, you know, we just lost them all. Um, so yeah, I know that's a that's a tough matchup, and I'm glad we're not getting paired against it again. Ash Sejuani. I wonder if this is my version of Ash Sejuani. I think I may keep all of this. Vengeance being necessary to take down Sejuani. Um, we'll see about the Vile Feast. I mean, yeah, Omen Hawk's the main, you know, like, that's one thing, but they usually have, like, three ones or five ones. Okay, I think it is my version of this deck. Uh, now we'll just take this. I'll just go Petty Officer, make a keg, a Vile Feast. Yeah, that's that's definitely the toughest matchup. I can, I can see that. Nivia loves playing against these removal spells. And so does Braum. Both of those champions do. Candice! Thank you, Candice. Candice getting that resub. How's life been? It's off the screen. I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm doing great. Oh, we are going to have... So, yeah, we hit our sub goal today. I'm going to have to just keep this at 6 out of 5 instead of 6 out of 10. I don't know if I can... Well, let's see. Can I just hit this button right here? There we go. Okay. Figured it out. Is there any time that we'd actually get the one cost follower? I mean, I think this would be a time. Because if, if I get Powder Keg, then they just have Ash challenge the Powder Keg. And that doesn't work for me. So we are going to do some, some bonus stream today because we hit the sub goal. I feel like we need to use, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like a very good glimpse. I kind of like that uh, Ramping Wolf turning into a 4-2. Let's see, let's do, let's say bonus games. Yeah, I understand they had no mana. Okay, we got Ash down to one health. Now I since I saved that extra mana we'd okay we would have vengeance for Huh. Well I'm glad they didn't challenge the keg. We would have vengeance for Sejuani if they'd have Sejuani. It's not bad. Double hearth guard. Hmm. 
Alright, I mean, this is just going to level up Thresh very quickly. Oh no! Wow, okay. Fine. At least I don't have to worry about, like, a Frostbite card that would get rid of the Gangplank as well. So, like, our Gangplank's definitely trading with something here. Kill my monkey idols. Poor monkey idols. If they have something big, I vengeance. If not, we can rekindle her. So that probably means they don't. It's gonna be turn. Th it's gonna be three. These next two things they're going to have are going to be huge. They've played two Hearth Guards and now two Omen Hawks. They're going to have two things that get plus four, plus four. Which is pretty silly. Keep up, keep up. <laughs> no, I just have nothing to do with these kegs. This will level up Gangplank. Carved from the savage cold. Yes, let's go. I'm hoping that challenges Gangplank. I don't want to, like, you know, I didn't want to just vengeance the uh, Sejuani first. Basically, because of that. I wanted them to challenge. Uh. So close. So close to keeping this thing alive. So it's gonna it's gonna level up, it'll be a 1-6. Hmm. Just have one more mana, we could double vengeance. That'd be really nice. Powder keg here. Ooh. 
If I Withering Will, I don't get to Rex. So Powder Keg. Or like, you know, some Mega Rain. Both of those, now we get to Rex as well. There we go. Good. Took out everything. And they have one card. Oh my gosh, they should speed up this Riptide Rex animation. I'm sorry about it. I don't choose how long that animation is. The monkey idols have been pretty good. The monkey idols have been good, both these games. They do a lot of damage over time. Looks good in the con in the control shell, where you want a longer game. A little slow in aggro, but in this like control shell, we want a longer game. We get to just do some attacking and blocking with them. Slows our opponents down because they don't really want to attack into some powder monkeys. GG's. I do feel bad. I think that was my opponent playing my... I think they were playing my list from yesterday that we 5 0 with. That's what it looked like. Okay, so I'm playing Gangplank too early. That's a good card call there, Twitch user, that um, Monkey Idols are good at leveling up Swain as well. This is probably a bad matchup. Deep deck, it's like, I don't want any of those things. Like, maybe... Maybe something there is better than I think. Maybe one of those removal spells is better than I think. Got if they have the three two life steal, we can vile feast that. What's up to one? I'm doing great today. A good day. You're having a good day as well. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. At least twice as much. He said. So playing Sprayfin still gives me the two mana to Vile Feast. Set the hooks. Um. Do I Vile Feast or make it rain? I think I Vile Feast to get the extra 1-1 one, one that can potentially do some damage. I'm not really ex I mean, I guess playing the Mega Rain would incentivize them a little bit more to destroy the Powder Keg. Right now they don't need to destroy the Powder Keg. And yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't, I don't need to worry about Nexus damage this turn because the uh, Monkey's already got that covered for me. Get him, Thresh. Thresh is the best. Mm, that doesn't work. Looks like Fizz is getting shot out of a cannon. Poor Fizz. Alright, that's four out of six for Thresh.
Cool, you are doing good? Good, good, good. Yeah, gonna be playing some spider aggro today. That's your list. Playing that right, you know, playing that last, playing that right after keg control here. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. I got a lot of those. Petty officer with one drop or monkey idol? Assuming that I go make a rain here. I think actually what we could do is we go Petty Officer Powder Keg. And although that does kill my Powder Keg, that's um, instead of getting a one drop that would stay alive and attack, I'm just sacrificing this Powder Keg because then that will be the sixth thing for Thresh. So Thresh will level up. That was quite a poor hand for my opponent. That was like basically the best. That was like the best that we could uh, hope for playing against the deep deck is that they had none of their none of their dredgers and just triple jaw hunters that are like really easy for us to kill. And that's basically all they played were jaw hunters over and over, and that was easy for us to kill. Honestly, that could not have gone any better for us. <laughs> Uh, I don't know yet, Big Alfredo. I haven't decided anything for the bonus games. If chat wants to see anything in particular, you know, we do that. Or we just go back and play some more labs. Like, those are pretty fun. I'm probably not going to be doing too much labs for um, YouTube videos. I, I don't know. The labs would be fun. Or we play a more serious, like, rank-up deck. I still haven't got back to Masters with last rank up Sunday not working out for us. Uh, Braum and Nivea. Well, that's our worst matchup. Guess I'll just keep all of these. More Lucian Overwhelm? That's a good one. We can definitely play some Lucian Overwhelm. That's good. Success. Get you noticed around here. Do you drop the glimpse? I was figuring they'd use like removal on something, and that would, you know the glimpse would be a pretty easy draw to. That's what I was thinking, here. but yeah, I could see dropping glimpse. Safeguard our homes. And if they go glimpse, I'll use make it rain keep them from drawing two extra Heimer Braum deck, so just just build a Heimer Braum deck to play. It just takes a while to build decks, right? Like that's not a quick thing. I'd probably take like a half hour to build decks to build a deck. That's what usually it's a good estimate of what I usually takes me on building a deck. These old eyes still see far and clear. Hmm. Hmm. 
when do I want to play this Mega Rain? Like, if I want to play Thresh next turn, I want to go Mega Rain after I play Thresh. I guess it means that I won't. Basically, I'm just I'm trying to think of like how I could do this and keep Glimpse Beyond up, but I just can't. You know, we don't get to save four mana. Um, so I'd like to be able to have Glimpse Beyond up, but I, I basically have to choose between Glimpse Beyond and Mega Rain, and they're going to be challenging my Powder Keg, which isn't ideal. Uh, maybe I just let that happen. Maybe I just let the Powder Keg die, uh, so I can have Glimpse Beyond up and make it rain after that it's it's not like there's that much difference between two or you know one damage or two damage In name. huh that was unexpected them not challenging the powder keg All right, so this will be two things dying for Thresh, and it'll also give us the Nexus damage on this turn. Ouch. Draw three. Ugh, that's so many. Yeah, the picture back here, this is... Um, it was... There's a picture that my Twitch mods here got made for me whenever my cat Hawkeye passed away in January, and it's, it's a picture of Hawkeye. My cat, and that's that's kind of like where I, my name came from, of Hawk Tai. It's like my my cat Hawkeye, um, but I like wearing ties. The, heart is the, strongest mask. the channel icon is just a is just a tie. It's just a nice uh, collared shirt with a trot with a tie with a, a tie bar. The full Windsor knot is my favorite tie knot, and so that's what I that's what I just always use. It's my favorite tie knot. But I can probably do just off the top of my head, I probably only know like three tie knots, because I just always use the full Windsor, but um you know I could you know that's that's what the internet's for if there's other tie knots that I wanted to do. I don't really know. I don't really like any anything. I don't really like playing any of these. Like Withering Will obviously doesn't do anything. The Petty Officer doesn't really do anything. I could Vengeance, that makes it pretty easy for them to either, like, re you know, they could have, like, rekindled and brought Braum back, or they could just, um... Oh, man. Maybe that was a mistake drawing two, because I could have just gone Petty... Oh, maybe that was just a big mistake drawing the two, wasn't it? Oh, that was a mistake drawing two, wasn't it? I needed to... Mmm... If I didn't spend that mana, because I would have what I would have had eight mana, I could have gone petty officer, get another powder keg, and then withering whale. But I mean, they still have four mana, so they could take out my powder keg. It's not like that's reliable. Yeah, that isn't reliable. Bye. 
by their entrails. I had something to use with these powder kegs. This is going to go better for us. Well, at least both of our champions level up. That's the good news. The bad news is they can still have tons of things that are good against us. Um, they have a, a whole lot of cards over there. But the good news is both of our champions are leveled up. All I want to do is draw our champions and rekindler. That's what, those are the cards that I want to draw. Yeah, like, exactly. If they play Ruination, definitely bad for us. Um... There's a lot of stuff they could have that would be bad for us. But that was a good turn. That was That was a good turn. And this is nice they don't have Anivia. Like Anivia was a card, you know, I was definitely more worried about Anivia than another than a Braum. Okay, so that will bring Gangplank back. We have had one Gangplank die. So I didn't want to play anything else pre-combat because I didn't want them... People just never challenge Powder Keg, do they? I didn't want them to be able to challenge more Powder... You know, I didn't want them to destroy more Powder Kegs. Well, they didn't really have a removal spell for Powder Keg last combat, or at least not one that they played. So I sure hope they don't. But even if they do, we got Dubs. Dubs Plank. Alright, so we'll have Triple Gang Plank. Is that how this works? Yeah, we just have to not draw the third gangplank. Cool. Hang them by their entrails. Oh, they keep saying GG, so probably GG's. I'll play cards, my opponent's cards if I want to. Does it get does this one get the attack? trigger yes it does awesome dead men tell tell my tale I won't stop coming for those who wrong me all right we beat our toughest matchup Anivia Braum they did not have Anivias this time last game they had all the Anivias and we couldn't win this time they had all Brahms and we did win you know so uh, easier for us to handle a whole bunch of Brahms than a whole bunch of Nivias that's what we learned so far in those games oh yeah Thresh summons from hand also so yeah even if we would have drawn the other one um, Thresh would have just put it into play good point good call
GG's. Ugh, deep again. So we face zero aggro decks. It's weird how... I don't want any of these. Do I want Sprayfin? Sprayfin kind of slow. It's weird how the matchmaking happens, you know? Like, like the other day with the, our Twisted Sejuani deck, we played against five Noxus decks. Like, just five Noxus aggro. All Bacillus Grider decks. And this time, five. We just played against five late game. Well, I guess one was an Ash Sed Sedgewani. It's not really a late game deck. Yeah, you know, we played against one mid range and then four Shadow Isles late game decks. Could have just cast Make It Rain. In order to do two damage to them on my turn right then. Or do do one sorry, deal one damage to them on my turn right then for a, a gangplank level up, but it doesn't sound it doesn't sound like that would have been necessary. I want to I want to pressure and try to get the most damage we can in as fast as possible. And that's gonna be with my pirate. Yeah, against the slow deck, one, one our gang plank early. Ouch! Hell, oh, getting rid of all the jaw hunters. That's the card that I want them to have. I just got rid of all the jaw hunters. Not a bad play. 7-7 seven, seven that obliterates. It's not a bad play. Do I look like a patient man? Not really. This deep opponent had a lot better hand than the previous one did. That other opponent had about as bad of a hand as you can possibly have. do this before they play something else and get to um,
uh, before they would play something else and then get to toss a couple more. Two out of six. I will tend this garden. Yeah, I, I understand that's bad to have Gangplank get obliterated, but it just it made my turn very bad. Like I couldn't play Thresh if I if I glimpsed beyond. I couldn't play Thresh. I couldn't do both. I mean, I could, but then if I did do both, then then I couldn't. I couldn't. I guess I couldn't do both and also take out their uh, sapling that was going to challenge my powder monkey and let them attack for seven. And so then, like, I would have had to block. I guess I would have the spider. All right, so Maokai levels up. That means I'm not going to get another Gangplank. It's not going to be easy to win. Well, yeah, like that's what's gonna happen. Maokai levels up when we lose the rest of the gang planks. There's not really another option that's gonna happen. I mean, I guess I can can try this. And not killing those, blocking those things, and not casting anything else. Four out of six. Not cool. So yeah, we don't. We obviously, you know, we just have the two cards left. We don't have a game plan to go grab. So it kind of make, makes sense, like these other these other control decks with sh these other Shadow Isles control decks, the Brahminivia and the Deep Deck, you know, went one and one against both of them. Um, you know, pretty 50-50, I suppose. Uh, you know, they're not going to be ones that we're going to be favored in. It's just not what our deck is built for. Really unfortunate though. This is the second time that I've played a Gangplank control deck recently like i said in the last like week or so and last time all i faced was brahmanivia and this time all we face is here i face zero aggro decks in 10 games with these decks like that's that's what i want to play against is aggro and we just can't get paired against aggro um i 
I don't I don't think that I don't think that this should be a really good matchup for us. But obviously I haven't played it very much, but just theoretically like with these cards, like I don't I don't feel like this would be a just a spectacular matchup for us. I don't have to worry about my deck size too, too much. I wanted to see if Mega Rain was going to hit Maokai before I challenged Maokai. We've only killed one Maokai and one Nautilus, and so really the, the, the difference in this game is going to be they have their champions and I don't have my champions. That's probably going to be the difference in the game. If they, if they ever kill Thresh, I lose. All right, Nakano. Take care. So we'll reshuffle Thresh back. There's a bunch of two mana cards that don't do damage. You. So you've never you've never lost to this deck with when they don't flip Maokai, like you've never lost to just a bunch of devourer, like you know, Nautilus and a bunch of devourers and sea monsters and stuff. You never lost to those those things. I would think those would be difficult to deal with. I'm quite surprised that that you've never lost to that. Yeah, now you never have. That's that's very surprising. do this. This just doesn't matter, does it?
Hey, Petrius. I guess I lose this upcoming turn. Yeah, I mean, I can't. Just mathematically, this doesn't work for me. I guess I'm, I'm taking 13, I can gain 3, so I can go to 15. And go down to 2. Ouch. Ouch, why do I have to have another blocker? Okay, so... Challenge here... They go block, block, block. They take 5 down to 5. Throwing away a whole bunch of stuff. For three damage, I'm throwing away three things for three damage. Probably not worth it to throw away three things for three damage. No, oh, what do you mean they offered a draw? What do you mean? Oh, like they they had no cards in their deck. Is that what you're talking about? Did they have no cards left in their deck? I thought they had one. Did they have zero? Oh, wow. Then, yeah, I messed up. Then, I, yeah, I definitely should have taken the draw. Well, I assume they don't have atrocity, right? If they had atrocity, they would kill me. They have to keep casting Riptide. Yeah, I could. I should have done the draw then. Yeah, I. I didn't realize that to be honest. They offered a draw. Yeah, that, that was my bad. I was too focused on my own deck. And did not realize that. So basically, they had zero cards in their deck, and they passed priority to me while I had zero cards in my deck. And so if I would have passed priority also, we both would have had zero cards, and we both would have drawn, and it would have just said the game was a draw. And neither of us would have won, and neither of us would have lost. It would have basically gone to this stage and would have said draw instead of victory or defeat. And you get like 75 XP for a draw. I, that was my bad for not being... I wasn't observant enough of noticing that they had zero cards. I, I was... Yeah, Kordak, you said... Yeah, you said draw before and I didn't I didn't understand what you meant. And you said I would take... I would draw, I would take it. And yeah, I just didn't... I didn't understand. I, I missed that. That's my... That's me not being observant enough. Um, okay, so that's our keg control. Uh, again, like kind of like before, uh, I think this is awesome against aggro. You have so much good stuff with all these Val three Valfies, three Withering Well, three Make It Rain, and you have all of the kegs to make it bigger. I think this deck is great against aggro, but again, I just didn't get paired against aggro, and I'm I'm uh, really disappointed. The second time I played this deck and not get paired against aggro at all. Um, like what what's up with that when aggro is like the most popular you know especially the nox is the most popular deck 
by a long ways. I'm I'm frustrated that we don't get to play against it. We just had to play against Deep twice and Brahmanivia twice. Not the most fun matchups. But that's how it goes. That's how life is. You don't always get what you want. Um yeah, the elusive matchup is is like a that's like a buy. That's that's like an auto win for you. That's that is maybe one maybe one of the most lopsided game you know matchups that there is uh, in the game. There's not a whole lot of like super lopsided matchups and and you against elusives is very lopsided. So if you're somewhere if you're somewhere on the ladder where you're playing against a, a lot of you know elusives, a lot of aggro, if you're kind of in in that part of the ladder. Uh, this is a great deck to uh, try out. Um, you know, you're not going to win 100% against Noxus and Elusives, but you're going to do really, really well against Elusives and also really well against Noxus. All right, uh, that's it here for Cake Control, though. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.